that it's not about you. Wow. You still think it's about you? There was a young man in the Bible by the name of Jeremiah. He was young, just like you. And God told Jeremiah, don't even say that I'm a youth. Don't even say that I'm young. Because already I predestined you to be a leader to the nations. And I'm going to use you to root out some religious stuff, root out some political stuff, root out some racist stuff, root out some stuff that's just wrong. And I'm going to use you to make a difference. So Jeremiah had to learn early that it wasn't about him. So let's go back and do this right. Let's all come to the altar and honor God because he's worthy. If he's worthy in your life, raise at least one hand. If you believe God put breath in your lungs, amen? If you don't believe that you're breathing by yourself, that God is the reason why you breathe. Okay, put your hand down. How many people fear God? You better than God. If you think you're better than God, if you fear God, raise your hand. Everybody's hand down a little think they better than God and wiser than God. But if you realize God is bigger than you, raise your hand. Because I don't know how bad you think you are, but I ain't never seen nobody you know, and you know that you know somebody that can part a Red Sea. I've never seen anybody make the sun say, you ain't that bad. How many of you know that God is bigger than you? Raise your hand. Well, if you fear him, and you realize that it's because of him that you're alive, he deserves the praise. And do you know with him, there is no right way to do wrong. And with him, 99 and a half won't do. He won't sit all, all or nothing. So let's give him. Now, there was one song that Brandon was doing. I want my sister to come up as well. And we come to the altar this time. He said, we want you more and more. So we're going to come up and guess what we're going to do? Because he's worth it. We're coming to the altar and we're going to do because he is a bad boy, God is. And we're going to give him what's due to him and we can ready to get down on our knees. Some of you haven't been down on your knees in a long time. Some of you probably been on your knees for the wrong reason. Oh, Doc keeps it real. But we're going down for him. I said we're going down for him. On the count of three, I want you to run to this altar just as fast as you can. Everybody, anybody, got everybody, just as fast as you can. That's youth workers, everybody. Fast as you can, fast as you can, fast as you can, fast as you can. Close as you can. We're not going to let this sound mess us up, you guys. We're just going to press on. If I just have to do it with no mic at all. Everybody, come on, everybody, everybody. So the only people that they see is the ones that think they battle than God. They, they're breathing by themselves. It's their own air they breathe. We're coming to honor God. Rebellion is the same as witchcraft. And rebellion loves youth and young adults. So this rebellion says, I ain't going up there. She can't make me come. And you don't know that your little happy self can leave right out of here. And like that, your life can be gone. There's a lot of things you can play with, but one thing you don't play with. You don't play with who? God. You don't play with who? God. You don't play with who? God. Play with God. Play games on your phone and you play, but you don't play with God. And this is what I'm trying to get y'all to hear. You guys, I'm 57 years old. I've been doing this for 36 years with people your age. Diane's seen me do it. They've seen me do this for years. People that are out here doing this with me now, they were your age. Where's Jen? Where's Jen? Jen, raise your hand. We were doing this when you were their age. Am I right? And now her, where are your kids? Uh, where are your kids? Raise your hand. Now these are her kids. We're second generation at this. And guess what? We're going to be third and we're going to be fourth. Because guess what I'm not willing to do? I'm not willing to give up on you. I'm not willing to give up on you. I'm not willing to give up on you. I'm not willing to give up 
on your generation. Everybody says you do everything wrong and you're so bad. But we did this to pull it, to pull it together for you to say, we believe in you. There's, can I tell y'all something about life? There's always people that are going to stab you in the back and tell you how much better you could have did it and you should have done it this way and you should have done it this way and you should be this and you should There's always somebody telling you how it could have been. But generally, those kind of people are usually they're not doing nothing themselves. But for the mere fact that you are here, for the mere fact that you made it this far, I wish I had the ability to peel your head back and see your life 20 years from now, 30 years from now, 10 years from now, 5 years from now, 6 months from now. And you would say, my God, I'm glad I had that encounter. And then let me tell you a second thing. Don't let anybody talk you out of what you know God told you to do. Your purpose, your assignment, your identity, who you are. And so if other people want to be stubborn and stupid and rebellious, let them be stupid. Say stupid. stupid. Say it like you're from Brooklyn. <laughs> Come on now. I say stupid. Somebody said it with a count of three. I ain't stupid. I ain't stupid. Okay, let them be stupid. Don't you be stupid. Amen. Okay? And then for God's sake, don't be stuck on stupid. That's right. Because that's worse than being stupid. That's right. If you love God, put up both of your hands and yes. let him know right now. Brandon, I want you to take it right back because we didn't do God right. We didn't do God right. We cheated him. We act like he was nothing when that song said, I want you more and more. We act like we were talking to some punk or some food or some honey Krishna or some, some politician or some weakling. And we were talking to God. We're talking to the one who woke you up. We're talking to the one that's got your mind sane. We're talking to the one that put a roof over your head. We're talking to the one that's causing your heart to beat. We're talking to the one that's keeping you alive. We're talking to the one that's got a scholarship waiting for you. We're talking to the one that knows your thoughts from afar, got your future engraved in the palm of his hand. And when other people will struggle, he wants to open doors for you that other people struggle for. He wants to do it for you. He wants to do it for you. He wants to do it if you can only see the potential on the inside of you. I mean, I don't even know you. If you knew what was in you, your problem is not who you are. It's who you think you are not. If you knew how awesome you were, you wouldn't be dealing with stupid rebellion stuff. Because you would realize I'm better than this. You would be giving God all the praise. God wouldn't have to beg you to come to an altar. Oh, can I say this? Anybody can be rebellious. Anybody can be stupid. Anybody can resist God. But oh, it takes a bold yes, woman, a man. Yes. A person that says, God, I'm coming to you. And I want you more and more. Can we do him right this time? Yes. And if we're going to do it, let's do it all the way right. On our knees. On our knees. See y'all see that playing on cell phones, playing with your fingernails, looking all up at the ceiling like you talking to some punk God. You talking about the most high. The one that has the ability to provide everything that you think that you could ever want. And do you realize that anybody can serve Satan? Yeah, I'm not going to be rebellious for serving That's what 99.9% .9 of the world is doing. But those who say, for God I live, yes. for God I die. Thank you, Lord. You have no idea what we've been through to make this happen. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You have no idea how many nights we've been awake. You have no idea how many hours have been put in this. And every door that closed, we said nothing with my brother. Every door to try to close, we said, nothing's going to stop us. As a CFO, God called us to this generation. Yes. My brother here, God called us to this generation. And Satan hates you. But guess what? We're here tonight to war for you, yes. to fight yes. for you, to fight with you. And to say to you, you don't
don't see it yet, but guess what? I'm pouring in your life because when I get 90, I don't want you to have me in some nursing home. I want you to be presidents and heads of states and bankers and rolling and running, running the music industry, running the school system, running things. Your passion, 